Hi guys, the Rugby Guru here, bringing you guys the preview between the Reds and the Bulls. This should be a really interesting encounter, so let's get into it. At number 15, Jock Campbell up against Warwick Hlunt. Um Jock Campbell has been excellent so far in the six first six weeks of Super Rugby. Um, really looking good, while Warwick Hlunt has maybe come to terms in the last two weeks maybe, having some decent games, but before that, really average. At number 14, you've got Bryce Hegarty up against Cornell Hendricks. Um, Hendricks has been really impressive. Um, I think he's reached the type of form that made him a Springbok in his first uh, attempt. While Bryce Hegarty gets an opportunity to come from the bench to play at wing. At number 13, Chris Fia Satia up against Johnny Kotzer. Uh, Satia has been moved from the wing to the center. Whether it will work, we'll have to wait and see. He comes in the place of the injured hunter by Sami. Johnny Kotze had a decent game last week, but there's question marks around his defense. At number 12, Hamie Stewart up against Berger Woodendahl. So glad to see Berger Woodendahl back from injury. He's been really playing well when he, when he did play. He's a really aggressive center up against Hamie Stewart, who has really looked good for the Reds as well. Maybe an opportunity for him to become a Wallaby. At number 11, Henry Spate up against Roscoe Speckman. Both wingers are in exceptional form at the moment. Um, both playing little, a little bit different type of game with Henry Spate. A little bit more aggressive. While Speckman is the magic man with his uh, twinkle toes. At number 10, you've got um, James O'Connor up against Manny Lubbock. James O'Connor has been excellent at 10 so far. I thought the move from 12 to 10 would probably hurt his career, but it's actually done him wonders. While Manny Lubbock gets his second start this season in the place of Mourne Stain looking to, to get some game time. At number 9, you've got Scott Mal Malua up against Ambrose Papir. Papir has been decent so far. I must say he's getting to the type of form that made him a springbok. While uh, Malua will really look to to jump back from that injury and really impress the selectors. At number eight, you got Harry Wilson up against Miller Ace. Harry Wilson has been really good for a 20-year youngster. He's really exceptional. Um, he's going to really be good in the future as well. And then obviously Miller Ace, also a really decent youngster coming through in the Bulls camp. Had a really good game last week. At 7, you've got Liam Wright against Josh Strauss. Uh, Josh Strauss really had a good game last week. Um, really looking good at 7 instead of 8. And obviously, Liam, Liam Wright has been really good for the Reds as well. Looking maybe to, to get a Wallaby call up a little bit later on. At number 6, you've got uh, Lucan Salakai Lotto up against um, Marco van Staden. Van Staden has looked really good in his two games. While uh, uh, Salakai Lotto will be looking to get some form. He did show glimpses of it. So hopefully he can get back to the type of form that he had. At number 5, Harry Hawkins up against Rua Norkia. Both young players looking to make a mark in Super Rugby. So they got a great opportunity. They're much at the same level at the moment. So a really good opportunity for them to showcase their talents. Um... If you look at the next one, Angus Blade up against um, Ian Grunewald. Angus has been really well, or has played really well for the Reds so far. Uh, probably also going to get a Wallaby call-up if he continues this type of form. And Ian Grunewald will get an opportunity to show what he's got. At number three, Tanila Tupo uh, versus Trevor Nyakane. Both players have been good, but Tanilla has been really exceptional. Between him and Alan Alatoa, it's going to be a really tough choice for Dave Rennie when it comes to the tight head prop, while Nyakane will try to get back a little bit of form. Two, you got Alex Murphy up against Jakob Fasaghi. Murphy has also been really excellent so far in the competition. This red team's... Well, the red team has been really good, apart from the fact that they couldn't get results so far. And I think Murphy has been part of the reason why. At number one, you've got Dane Zander up against Lisa Kaboka. It's a bit risky 
taking uh, Dane Zander to the starting lineup against Trevin Yukane. It could either be a masterpiece or not. While Lisa Kaboka will be playing against Danila Tupo. Should be a really good battle there. On the bench for the Reds, you've got Ed Craig, Harry Hoopert, uh, Josh Nasher, Angus Scott Young, Fraser McWright, Tate McDermott, Isaac Lucas, and Filippo Dalguno. Really decent uh, bench with Angus Scott and Tate McDermott will be looking to make a mark from the bench. For the Bulls, you've got Cornel Els, Gerard Steenkamp, Vian Herbs, Reino Pieterse, Ruan Steenkamp, Ivan van Sale, Mornay Stein and Devan Rousseau. So guys, as far as my prediction go, I don't see this young Bulls side really uh, doing it in Australia. So I would go and back the Reds by 10 to 15 points if everything goes well. Until next time guys, cheers for now.